However, he's, uh, he's, I think he has an awareness of this, but sometimes, literally, he does not know what he's going to say next. Um, and you've got to be quite brave to allow that um, to happen. Uh, so he, you know, he... He's, he's got this very sharp intelligence, he's no fool, he's quick on the uptake, and he doesn't suffer fools. And um, so, um, although he tends to think the best of people, um, he, he's got a very sharp perception, perception as well. And he's definitely a can-do person. He's a highly optimistic character and a can-do person, uh, and his big ideas and high hopes um, he might get tripped up on them and get cut down to, to, to size when he actually gets into the swing of the job. But he's never going to give up, um, and he, he will find a way. He's definitely the little engine that could. And some of you might know what that's from. So I think he's going to manage his resources and his people pretty well. Um, and he, he will have, you know, this, he, he will have a strong hand on the wheel. And, and they'll and they'll know, you know, that they've got to come up to the mark. They've got to come up to his 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 standard, and his expectation. And um, because I think people are going to know, in their instinct, that he is trying to protect and keep safe um, their best interests. So even if this means sticking his neck out and becoming the target of bad press or um, actually insiders, you know, people working very, very near him who are out to get him in some way, um, he'll have an awareness of this, but he will forge on regardless. Now, he has Saturn conjunct Jupiter in his natal chart. This often shows up in the charts of highly focused individuals, I've found, who work untiringly untiringly um, keeping an eye to the long term to ground and root in their ideologies and visions. Margaret Thatcher also had that aspect in her chart. And Pluto, the planet to do with politics and evolutionary change and very, very strong uh, forces in the world. Um, he has this in his partnership area. This shows that some people around him can... can um, maybe be exerting power in an underhand or secretive ma manner. Uh, and there are those who would try to pull, the, as I said earlier, the rug out from um, under him or worse, or could get involved in mudslinging, which would damage his public reputation. Pluto is secretive, willful, and manipulative when it's in its out-of-balance um, vibration. And in this area of Barack Obama's chart, it means you'll have to watch his back, um, even with those with whom he's in close association. Now, just having a sneak peek at the transits coming up for Barack Obama over the next two to three years, um, Saturn, the um, karmic dweller on the threshold, the great tester of the zodiac, um, is going to be in Barack Obama's eighth house until September 2012. This is going to test how well he handles power um, and how well he dances the dance. It will also challenge him in that area to keep a very firm hand on the wheel whilst under pressure, and pressure there will be, even from members of his own team, even from his own side. He'll be having to learn how to get on with others' expectations and their value systems. And in some cases, this will be a severe challenge to him. You know, it will give him a bit of a headache. This house, the eighth house, is related also to finances and property, which is jointly held, uh, which is pooled. And this will be a period of more responsibility in that area and a lot of hard work. He's going to be feeling um, a deep desire to be in control of what's going on, but he's going to have to learn how to let go and delegate and share the load with others, some of whom won't be singing from the same song sheet, I don't think. Um, he's likely to feel frustrated at times, 
with the performance of powerful people or organizations or big business. Um, and it'll be deeply upsetting to him. Uh, he's going to come up against forces which work against change, which res resist very strongly the reforms he's trying to implement. And he's going to have to, at times, reach very deep inside to keep pushing forwards with his ideas and beliefs over this period. Now, I'm not worried about him because I can see how stubborn he is. <laughs> and he has extraordinary willpower, which is a good thing because he's going to uh, need it. And he's going to have to be unrelenting as he follows through on tough decisions and, and, and events that are going off around him as well. Uh, unexpected things, some of them. So he'll have to make, you know, tough decisions uh, to let go of certain things uh, and in other cases to prune back hard and to keep on trying to weed out anything which is weak, uh, doesn't work, uh, or is corrupted in the status quo. But, you know, he's ideally suited to do that. He's determined enough and bolshy enough <laughs> to help transform and regenerate the financial and property markets as well as big business uh, corporations and to make the changes which will regenerate them from their very foundations. Well, that's what I think anyway. But the man needs the space, he needs the time, he needs the free hand to do this. Um, there's probably going to be massive clearing of the ground to allow in more light and air, which is needed to grow uh, a new order of things, a robust and fruitful new order of things. Uh, and there will be a fundamental shifting of gears under Obama's leadership. His strategy, I think, is going to expose sometimes rather uncomfortably deep-seated bad habits in society. But you see, this was going to happen anyway, um, and it's far better to have this happen under the watchful eye of a character like Barack Obama. On a personal note, Saturn in the Eighth House can mean extra personal security for him and his nearest and dearest will be needed. Um, the eighth house is also about death and rebirth, endings and beginnings. And in March, his Mars will be opposed by Uranus. This um, can signal a sudden event of some kind, possibly an aggressive one. Possibly not, but it will be interesting to see what happens during March. Um, I'm not making any predictions here. I'm just plucking out a few key points in his, in his, in his transit chart. Expansive Jupiter's protective vibration will be working to guard his best interests from behind the scenes. Um, but Barack may step on a few toes <laughs> as he takes issue with, with traditional methods or things going too slowly, things getting stuck, uh, people's minds being stuck, particularly, you know, at his place of work in the corridors of power. Uh, and that's not just his country, that's other countries as well. There's likely to be clashes with others about the correct allocation of resources and the traditional ways of doing things, whilst Saturn is in that part of his chart until September 2012, shifting those gears so fundamentally that it may even be necessary to invent a new type of gearbox, <laughs> because the old one doesn't have the capacity to run the new programs. As I say, he's a very creative, inventive, and rather experimental personality. Or rather, his personality isn't experimental, but he has this experimental approach in his personality. By the time Saturn has left this area of his chart, the blood, sweat, and tears in Obama's life should be reflected in a society, um, and that's, you know, across the board there with business and banks and, and property markets and so, so on as running much smoother, but with 